Rosie Bird, welcome back to Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Today, we are heading into the boss fight of Old Clockworks right down this way. As you can see, it is showtime. We, have fi we finally have everything we need to reach the top of Clock Tower. But first, let's check the security image that Toad brought with him. So we rescued Yellow Toad in the last episode. All right, Luigi, ready to take a gander at the security camera image? Yes, I am. Oh no! Who's everywhere? And all sorts of different ghosts. And there is uh, the possessor. That area is just behind the clock tower gate. Hmm, another possessor. I wish I could say I was surprised. Anywho, he and those ghosts seem to be headed to the top of the tower. Remember how to inspect the scene? Look around by tilting the Nintendo 3DS in all directions. Zoom in and out with R and L. Press B when you're done. Okay, so it looks like there's a boo over this way. Hey, buddy. Boos everywhere. Strange, they seem to get along with the possessor ghost. Boos don't usually get along well with other powerful ghosts. Weird, okay. Didn't know they were so picky. This guy's definitely making something invisible. Another boo using those spirit balls to create illusions. Who gave them that ability? They can't just have just started doing that on their own. Hmm, good question. Probably the dark boo king or whatever his name is. So these guys are just chilling out. Uh, oh no, not again. Oh, it is definitely Mario. Look at that at the top of the hat. Uh, that sack, is that a painting inside? Hmm, why are those boos guarding it so closely? Wait a minute, there's something familiar about that hat. Oh no, they got Mario again. <laughs> not good. Two games in a row. Hmm, I wonder how each one of those possessor ghosts got a hold of a Dark Moon piece. That can't be a coincidence. That is for sure. So it looks like that's about everything I can find. Oh wait, look at this guy up there. Okay, it's not gonna tell me anything about him though. Uh, what's that ominous glow? It almost seems like it's influencing the ghosts somehow, including the possessors. The ghosts become hostile, but they they also seem to be under someone's control. Hmm. Well, well, there we go, there's our answer. Look at this shadow. That is one big scary shadow. I'm starting to think that the dark moon didn't break apart by itself. That is for sure, it looks like it was King Boo. And I really don't see anything else. So we are going to back out with that. That glow coming from outside the limits of the image gives me a very bad feeling. It's almost like there's an evil presence ordering the possessors to guard the Dark Moon pieces. Could it be that all the ghosts in the Evershade Valley are being commanded by some evil villain? Who or what could that source be? Anywho, I could ponder forever, but we need to get up to the top of that clock tower as soon as possible. I trust you've still got that rotor on you. Yes, we do, and we have the clock hands as well. Excellent, you'll need to install it near the big clock face. All right, and we need these. And here, don't forget our precious clock hands. All right, we have a whole collection of clock repairing things. Awesome, <laughs> just shoves that into his pocket. It's a good thing you have such deep pockets in those overalls, <laughs> like I just said. All right, youngster, it's showtime. Get to the top of the clock tower and find the dark moon piece. Stay on your guard. The possessor ghost is likely at the top of the tower. Be careful and look lively, Luigi. All right, we'll do everything we can. Oh boy. This is surely going to be interesting. So with this one, I mean, I hope everything turns out well. I hope that he possesses something that's a little bit more interesting than a staircase as well. But we'll have to find out. Oh no. Oh, so we're starting right in front of the, uh, the gate. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually take a look through this right here. Just get a good look around. Yeah, this is what we were just inspecting through the image. So looks like we have a couple of things to poke around with. Good to know. So we have everything we need. Open it up. Oh my. It seems like he knows what to do. Maybe. Oh, look at him, how handy. Well, would you look at that? As good as new. 
And then you put the rotor in. And we are good to start telling the time. It's time to kick some ghost butt. <laughs> All right, clock tower gate is open. Or I would think it is. Is it opening right now? Uh, I don't know what I gotta do. Oh, do I do this? Oh, you bet I do. So, what time do we have to make it though? That's the question. There's probably a specific time we're looking for. So let me look back into here. Maybe this will give me a heads up. Oh, okay. That might be what I'm looking for. Yeah, they're both at the same time. So what is that? That's about 7 p.m.? I mean 7 a.m., 7 p.m., 7 o'clock. I wanna only be able to know. Uh, perfect. There it is. Oh man, it's opening. Right, no? Was that not right? Or maybe, I, I guess it had to be to that one arrow. Maybe I was a little off. So let's, no, 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 what are you doing? Oh no, that, that worked, okay, I was sort of like, no, you got it. Weird. Alrighty, so 7 p.m., a little bit like, maybe like 7.30. Huh? Yeah, it was 7.30, I'm now realizing, yeah, the big hand was on the six, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that, 7.30, and oh, look at that, just sitting right here, there is another gem. I was not expecting that just to be so easy. We get the mushroom. I like this one, this is my favorite gem type. So I guess there's not gonna be any more moving forward because it usually seems like you can find them in a linear order. So the other two are gonna be before all of this. So there's not much, wait, there was a thing here. There we go, what is this gonna be? I mean, it's not gonna be a boo, maybe there is another gem in here. No, it's just a bunch of cash. I'm fine with that. Just making extra sure there's nothing around here. So what do we do? I mean, first off, there's some coins to get. We can't like walk on these gears, can we? I can't quite reach those golden bars, but I might be able to mess with this a little bit. There we go. And that's that's sort of like very weird because I thought that I was the one moving there. Oh, it did move the platform upwards. Oh, that's weird. Didn't even realize. Yeah, let's get all that. Thank you. Then over this way, there's a gold bar. There's a couple more right over here. See so yeah, if we can just raise that a tiny bit more. And then, oh, be careful of this. Bat, thank you. Got a couple more gold bars we can snag. And then I wanna go into this opening in the wall. See so yeah, right over this way. Open that up. And we're getting a couple of coins, nothing major. Maybe it'll give me more after the coins, it will not. Oh well, that's fine. So there's that done. I'm trying to keep a good look around. Sort of figure out, make sure I'm just not missing anything, is sort of the big goal. Oh, more of them, great. Oh, they're so easy to miss. Okay, back to this. Got it. And I think there's one more coin, and I got it. Okay, oh, extra money up there, hey! Watch it, did that count as earning money? It did not, that stinks. But at least I got all of this. Uh, yeah, just get rid of that guy. It's easier that way. These bats are so rude. So that really does look like everything. Like, I can raise it just enough so that it meets, meets with this platform. Hold on. We got some more money we can get. I'll gladly take it. Awesome. Okay, anything else around here? Not looking like it. What's going on in here? Are we at the top of the clock tower? We're at the Belfry. Belfry? I'm not really sure. Gotta be honest with you, I don't know much about clock towers! <laughs> Who needs the ladder? Oh, poor bird. Uh, oh, yikes. That was not a soft landing. Whoa, we're at the top. Yeah, let's close that. Oh no, he's right there. 
What is he gonna possess? Oh no. He's gonna possess the entire tower or something. Oh no. Watch out! We're going back in time! Before all this nightmare started. So he's going to take over the cuckoo clock. Oh no. What do we gotta do? Duh! Ah, ooh! Was I supposed to know what to do there? That was weird. Um, let's get the green ghost if I can. Huh, very bizarre situation. But I got it. Um, let's see what is, I guess I just have to hide. Oh, I have like a gauntlet to survive. I have to survive 12 rounds of ghosts. I think that's what it's trying to say. I just got one done. I'm pretty sure that's what it's asking of me. And I have to do it before the time runs out. There we go. So as you can see, that's two. And now it's gonna whip around real quick again. And we're up to round three. Okay, ready? Boom! That was, okay, so that's sort of the thing. You cannot get more than three of them at once. Gotta keep that in mind. But I got the other two at the same time. Lots of money there. That was great. That was really great. Okay, round number four coming up. Oh, it's these guys. Not good. But I can definitely get both of them at once. Gotta get all the way to green. This is really cool so far. Very intense. Once again, hide in the corner. So we're not even, that's one third of the way there. Uh, oh, okay, he's mad about that. He's like, dude, you're messing up the game. Whoa, okay. Uh, he's just sort of slamming around at the moment. Oh, but then he's stuck. Oh, you ready for this? That's it! I don't know if we need to do all that. Maybe we just have to do it to the first first meter because all we have to do is fill up the, uh, or get rid of his like lair. So that's the first time we did, we gotta do that two more times. And I was right. So it's like one third of the way there. What do we got this time? It's very dusty. Oh, those are bugs. Oh, those are bugs. Do I just have to get rid of all the bugs? I suppose so. Was that it? Okay, that was quite easy. Easiest one yet. We're back to full health now. Oh no, it's the sneakers. These guys are the worst. Come on, I'm trying to get you. Well, I was trying to get all three of them. That would've been great if I could've gotten all three of them. But right now I'm getting none of them. Okay, there's two. I might wanna, oh, I was gonna say, I might just wanna press A at the first meter. How was that not both of them? Oh, that's so lame. So lame. Come on, come on, come on, ready. Immediately when it's blue. I was hoping to get both of them. I know, I know. We're running out of time here. Okay, one last guy. He's over here. We can get him. That's it. They don't give you much coins for all the trouble they cause. All right, that's level number six. So now we're properly halfway through. And we got three of these guys. These guys can be a pain. You gotta let them try to attack. Okay, so I got one, but then the other guy's trying to go for us. Come on, dude. Ah, oh, couldn't get him. That's fine. I still got this guy. And wait for him to attack. There we go, got a two for one deal. That's what I was hoping for. Back up to 100 health. Oh man. Getting closer and closer. Where are they coming in from this time? Right now it's a bunch of green ghosts. Like that's pretty basic. Uh, but they're mummies. Oh, great. All right, ready for this? That didn't really work. They're gonna charge though. Okay, pull his bandages off really quickly. Thank you. So he is no longer a a, a, a mummy, he's just a normal ghost. The time will go by really fast though is the problem. There we go, come on, come on, come on. Get these two. I'll grab this gold bar and this one as well. But now we need to work on this guy. We're running out of time like we seriously are. So let's go for it. Okay, go for him. Now. Oh, we got it. I'm pretty sure that we can run out of time. Like maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. 
So now we're two thirds of the way done. He's gonna pop out. I'm ready for you. Or maybe I'm not. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna start charging at me. I'm just trying to avoid it. Okay, there we go. And this, do that. Thank you very much. He's down to one layer. We know what to do about it, right? Well, first, we're doing number nine. More bugs. All right. <laughs> we can handle the bugs pretty easily. I think, at the least. Okay. Was Is that seriously it? That one was even easier. So there was like no sand for them to pop out of. Well, I like it. <laughs> I prefer easy ones more than difficult ones. Are these the, the, yeah. Let's get rid of these guys then real quick. They're actually not too tough now that I know what to do against them. I was hoping to get all three there, but I sort of messed that up, I suppose. Uh, just work on this guy then. I haven't had to deal with these guys, I think for the entirety of the old clockworks. There we go. And as you can see, that's another 95 gold, level 10 completed. Now we're looking at level 11. Do we just have to get rid of these? That actually might be very difficult. I'm trying to activate them all at once, but that didn't work. Uh, oh man. I'm using the clock hands to actually protect myself is not that bad of an idea. Ow, that one got me. That's okay. Was that it? Okay, only getting hit, a one, hit, hit once in a situation like that's really not that bad. So we have one more left to survive right before the ghost pops out. Okay, right now it's just one green ghost. That's not gonna be it though. Okay, so it's a little bit of everything so far. Uh, so far it really is a little bit of everything. Okay, oh, not the sneakers. The sneakers we need to get rid of first. Trying to find where the sneaker's gonna be. There he is! Okay, I got everybody but the green guy who's gonna mess me up, thanks, dude. I owe you one. Ah. Uh, the problem is I can't get the green guy without getting the sneaker, but the, the green guy's gonna try to get me when I'm trying to get the sneaker. It's just like, okay, this is a tough thing to solve. How did that not get both of them? Oh, it did, it did, it did. Don't you dare stop it! Come on! And how did that not get you? Ooh, game! You're not being fair right now. Come on, just attack. I'll get you. And do it quick. There we go. One last dude to deal with here. Get back here. I'm trying to get him. Oh, I'm at 10 health right now. I don't have a bone either. So if I get hit one more time, I'm done for. Thank you, now we're up to 35 health. And we just have to survive against this guy one more time. Can we do it? I sure hope so. Oh no, oh no. I'm just gonna keep running. Going to keep running, because he's gonna keep trying to charge towards me, right? Oh, actually, maybe not. There we go, fill it up. Boom, and we gotcha. Oh man, and there's a piece of the dark moon. So another boss fight defeated. This time in old clockworks. We got it. One step closer to completing this moon. Wasn't that great? Find and retrieve the dark moon piece, you got it. And we're getting a call. What's going on? Outstanding, Luigi. That possessor didn't stand a chance. You really cleaned his clock. <laughs> Hold still, I'll bring you back. Well, that was great. That was a lot of fun too. Def definitely a bit of a different boss fight. <laughs> He's taking a little bit of a sit down. Oh, wake up. Never a moment's rest for our buddy Luigi. Okay, so 12 minutes and 47 seconds, 30 ghosts captured, which is crazy, and over a thousand gold, which means we have reached, oh, that was a three star, that's amazing. Um, we have reached our new prize, so that'll be awesome as well. Oh no, here we go again. But yeah, I'm really happy with our progress through the uh, old clockworks. Next episode, we'll be doing the ghost level, and along with it, getting all the remainder gems, so that'll be great. Well, what is going on next, what will, uh, Professor E. Gad tell us, I don't know what the next area will be like, because we'll be able to get a quick look at that today.
Hello. Welcome back, Luigi. You were mighty heroic up there fighting the pos that possessor ghost. Criminy, I can actually hear the possessor raging ra around inside the Poltergeist 5000. Let's get him into the vault quickly. Okay, so the next possessor ghost going right on in there. So of course we got that one gem, we got a new ghost, a uh, thousand treasure earned. So as you can see, 2,000, or tw tw 20,000 actually, sorry. So we got ourselves a new mission unlocked, the old clockworks outlandish interruption. And we got the super poltergust unlocked for the 20,000 gold collected. Ta-da, the super poltergust. This new model will capture ghosts much faster than the old model, really? That's good, glad to see that. Is there any more goals to get her or am I maxed out on that? The longer that the possessor ghosts remain with the dark moon pieces, the stronger they seem to get. Good thing I've been working on upgrades for the Poltergeist 5000. Anywho, that dark moon piece has probably been corrupted by dark energy. Let's get it all cleaned up. Okay. So yep, once again, as per usual, we're gonna be cleaning this thing up a little bit. But yeah, I really don't know if there's gonna be any more goals for the gold. I wanna be earning more gold, of course, but if there's no real purpose anymore, it's not gonna feel as satisfying. So hopefully there's more upgrades to obtain. Because we still have at least, you know, this area. I think there might be two more areas left to explore, this one and then another one, but who knows. The more Dark Moon pieces we find, the more I think someone shattered it on purpose. Anywho, we've gotta keep going. Let's check the map to see if any more fog has lifted yet. So there's two more pieces of the Dark Moon to find, so I'm pretty sure there's two more areas to go through. And it looks like on this map, there's like a fifth area. Um, so there we go, that'll be the fourth area that we'll start exploring in an upcoming episode. Ah, the top of the mountains. That's the coldest part of Evershade Valley. I hope you brought your winter coat. I'm guessing he didn't. Alrighty, so we get our three stars there as a marker. We also unlock the level outlandish interruption and the secret mine has been opened, which is all things that we will check out in the next episode. For right now though, um, I do not want to go to the title screen. I want to go to Egad's vault and take a look at a couple of things there really fast. See ya. Um, oh, can I skip this? There we go, let me save a second. <laughs> So let us see the new ghost. There should be the the new possessor right here. This is the overset possessor. Uh, overset, I don't know what that means exactly, but to protect the dark moon piece within him, he possessed the huge clock face at the top of the tower and called on hordes of ghosts to help him out. A battle to remember. That is for sure. Okay, so along with that, I wanted to go over this way to the unlockables. Um, and you have unlocked all upgrades, congratulations. That's weird, so it feels like it wouldn't be as worth it to unlock gold anymore. But maybe there'll be more things that'll pop up later. For right now though, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Clock, Sony have watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.